Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're wondering what that strange noise is in the background, it's rain. It is absolutely pouring down here in Norfolk in the UK. Not very good for solar generation, and that's what this video is about. Solar generation, energy consumption for the month of June. So I'll share the numbers with you. Configuration wise, let's do that really, really quickly. I've got two solar arrays here. One that was installed in January, one that was installed in September last year. The first is 3.9 kilowatts of solar panels on a Solus inverter. The next is a solar edge inverter, two kilowatts with 2.4 kilowatts of solar panels. So 6.3 kilowatts of panels and inverters, 5.6, 5.7 maximum is what I can get through from the panels, through the inverters, usable towards the house. On top of that, we have the My Energy Eddy device, which heats our hot water with excess solar energy. And also the MyEnergy Zappy device, which charges our electric car, our Kona Electric, from the excess solar energy also. And then there's this. There's the 4.8 kilowatt hour pure drive energy home storage battery. So we have that on test at the moment. Anyway, less of the waffle, more of the details. So here we go. Here's some of the screen prints and data for the month of June. Hope you enjoy it. So let's start with generation, 869 kilowatt hours for the month of June. Less than the last two months, but still pretty good. Broken down, that's 553 kilowatt hours on our first array that's connected to the Solus inverter, and 316 kilowatt hours on the new Solar Edge array. 553 kilowatt hours is just too short of the highest month last year, so that shows how good a month it really was. June last year was actually 10% less. Looking at the individual days for the month, the first week wasn't so good, but thereafter definitely got better. No record breaking days, but still some very good generation and hence the high number. 113 kilowatt hours went to the Eddy device to heat the hot water. 73 kilowatt hours went into the Kona Electric via the Zappy charger. We imported just 5.36 kilowatt hours for the entire month, but exported 372 kilowatt hours. So if we generated 869 and we exported 372, that's 497 kilowatt hours that we actually consumed in the month. So here's all those numbers in summary, including the battery charging and discharging numbers. And if we compare those to last month, then pretty much the house consumption is very similar. A little bit less energy for the hot water, a fair bit more for the Zappy car charging. We've been driving more and grid import. Yep, we're up about a kilowatt hour, but that's all. It's always nice when the numbers add up and thankfully I can account for the extra grid use. We've got a little bit here on the 12th of June where basically I was doing a battery test importing some energy into the battery from the grid and then there was two windy days where I was charging the car on the Zappy on the 27th and 28th of June. Basically we're consuming energy from the grid when it's windy because clouds are moving past fast so the amount of solar generation is going up and down and the Zappy accounts for it but there's a bit of a delay and then energy comes from the grid during that delay. Battery usage wise, remember it's a 4.8 kilowatt hour battery. You can see from this chart in the blue area, we weren't using much of the state of charge, sometimes only 20% of the battery in a day, 30, 40% normally. But towards the end of the month, there were a few days where it was extremely hot and we had the air conditioning unit on from six in the morning till nine at night. And yet we consumed nearly all of the battery on those days. Percentage wise, that's 92% from solar energy, 8% from the battery, which of course is solar energy too, and 0% from the grid. And as I explained in my last video, the temperature of the battery was notably higher on those really hot days. So air temperature only as high as 26, 27 degrees maybe, but the battery temperature was creeping towards 40 degrees. Well within specification of course, but it won't be doing the battery much good from a degradation point of view. So that's it for the month of June. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope there was some useful information for you there. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments below about your system, your numbers, what issues you've got, what successes you've had, whatever you'd like to talk about. It's uh, great to share the information. Thanks again for watching and for subscribing if you have. See you again soon. Bye for now.